In this video, you will learn how to paint on t-shirt using craft kit from Fox the Maker. Watch learn do it yourself. Together, please Fox the Maker. First, let's look inside and see what you get with this kit. A greeting from Fox. Self-adhesive stencil with your chosen design. I choose a dinosaur for today's craft. White cotton t-shirt. Soft sponges for painting. Professional fabric paint. Paper for ironing and fixing the design. Illustrated instruction with step-by-step -step guide. Use this paper to cover your table or floor. So let's get to work. First step is applying the stencil. Self-adhesive stencil has three layers. White paper in the back, stencil itself and transparent tape above. First, take off the white paper in the back. Make sure all small parts of your stencil comes with it. You should have an empty, blank paper in the end. Place your stencil on the shirt. Press with your hands so that it sticks to the fabric. Put the blank paper inside the shirt. Make sure it's right under the stencil. This will prevent the other side from any paint stains. Now take off the transparent part. Start from one corner and take your time. Hold the stencil to the shirt and remove the film with the other hand. Make sure that all parts of your stencil stays on the shirt. If necessary, press the part with your finger and hold it so it won't move along. It is best not to lift the film up, but slide along the surface. That way, you won't lift up the stencil from your shirt. The main thing is not to rush it and you will succeed. Don't throw this away, but use the transparent film as a color mixing palette. Press the stencil to the shirt with your fingers, especially all the edges, so that it adheres properly. Let's start the fun part. Ready to paint? Don't stop with just colors in your kit. Use color mixing chart to design your own shirt as you want to. See what you can make and plan your design before painting. It's obvious that I can paint a green dinosaur, but I want to mix it up and make it even more interesting. It's best to start with lighter paints and then add darker ones. Apply the paint on the shirt using dotting technique to prevent it go under the stencil. You can mix colors on the transparent film and then apply it on the shirt. Or mix them straight on the design. Make sure that there is no white spot left in your design.
When it's all covered, leave it to dry for about 30 to 60 minutes. When the drawing is a little dry, you can remove the stencil. Make sure your hands are clean before touching the shirt. Start with the biggest part around the stencil. Don't worry if some part remains on the shirt now, you will remove it piece by piece. Don't rush it. If there is some wet paint on the stencil or design you can leave a stain on your shirt accidentally. When the main part of stencil is off, start taking off all the small pieces left on the shirt. Leave the shirt to dry completely for at least two hours or even for overnight. When the shirt is completely dry, you have to fix it by ironing. Place the paper included in your kit on the design. Heat the iron. Do not use the steam function. Iron the design for about two minutes. This will secure your design even after washing it in the washing machine. Ask an adult for help if you are not old enough to do it yourself. Congrats! Your new t-shirt is ready! How did you do? Share your results on social media and inspire others. Don't forget to use hashtag FoxTheMaker so that we see it too. And visit our store to find more fun and creative craft kits to do next. See you next time! Have a nice craft! Thank you.